Carolina, continue to approach. Flight formation departing ahead. Continue approach, come here, one. The atmosphere that surrounds our planet is made up of four key layers, each very different. Although I'm above the clouds, I'm still at the very bottom, in a layer called the troposphere. It's a narrow band, usually more than six miles thick. The troposphere is a rich soup of oxygen-rich air. It's unstable, chaotic and unpredictable, but life depends upon it. And now I'm 40,000 feet above the Earth. We're approaching 45,000 feet and we're about to cross an invisible boundary in the atmosphere. We're leaving behind the first layer, the troposphere, and entering the stratosphere. A very different place. Here, the air is stable and exceptionally dry, so there's virtually no weather. The stratosphere is home to the ozone layer, which reduces the amount of lethal solar radiation reaching the Earth. We've reached 50,000 feet. Nearly 80% of the mass of gases that make up the atmosphere are below me. But almost 50 years ago, one man went much, much higher than me. And he experienced the atmosphere in a complete sphere or more protective layers. So wispy and tenuous that they barely exist, but are vital for our... Here, the atmosphere is so thin that beyond 50 miles, we approach the beginnings of space. The mesosphere is also home to a strange phenomenon called noctilucent clouds. They're thin, wispy clouds that can only be seen in the summer at high latitudes. Beneath poles. <laughs> 